Hi friends, in today's tutorial we are going to learn about Jabref. Jabref is another excellent citation and reference manager for managing your references in LaTeX or Microsoft Word. So if you're ready, let's dive right into it. This tutorial about Jabref is going to be in two videos. In this first video, I'm going to introduce you to the Jabref interface and show you what the various tabs do. I'll show you how to add entries to your Jabrev library so that you can cite them in Word or LaTeX. In the second video, which is a separate one, I will then teach you how to use the database you created in this tutorial to cite your references. So watch this video and if you're interested in how to use Jabrev for citations, then you watch the second video. If you want to install Jabref, you simply go to jabref.org and you can see it in my address bar. And when you get to the home page, you can go down to download. So Jabref is available for Windows, Mac OS and Linux. So follow the instructions and install it and let's get started. When you install Jabref and open it, this is the interface you'll see. It seems like a lot of things and Jabref actually is very powerful because it has a lot of features that you can take advantage of. So let's go through a few of the tabs and see what you can do. So in file, just like any other software, you can open a new library and I'll tell you what a library is soon. You can import libraries or you can export the libraries you created and you can connect to shared databases. And then there's the other ones that you, you don't normally use on a regular basis. So in edit, you can do a lot of things. You can find and replace um, references and all of that. In library, you can add entries, you can delete entries, and you can do other things. Under quality, you can check if there are duplicate citations or references in your database. And you can merge entries if you think they are the same. And you can do other things. You can clean up entries and you can abbreviate, abbreviate journal names. Under lookup, you can search for documents based on whether they are archived documents or D, with their DOI. And you can actually search for full text online. Under tools, you can do all of these things listed. And you can do a web search for references. And under options, you can do other things like include key bindings for shortcuts. And for example, I don't really like this interface, this plain white interface. So I'm going to actually change it by coming to preferences and then I go to appearance and then I choose the dark theme. So from now onwards, we are going to be using the dark theme. So after changing the appearance, you can close it and open it again. And then we have this beautiful interface. So this is what we are going to be using from now onwards. Under help, you can check for uh, updates and Jabref is an open source project. So you can actually donate to the project to make the software better. So now let's get to the business of the day. How do you manage references in Jabref? To do that, you need to create a library. So when you click on this folder, an untitled library will be created. Now this is where you're going to add your references and manage them. To add a reference, you click on this plus button and this interface appears. So you can add articles in book, book, booklet, in collection, conference, in proceedings, proceedings, manual, master's thesis, PhD thesis, tech report, unpublished or miscellaneous. So these are the types of bibliographic sources you can include. The most common of which is usually an article. So assuming we want to add an article, when we click on an article, this appears. Now what you can do is to fill out the individual fields of the article. So you can add the authors, the title, the journal, the year. These are the required fields in order to cite the source. And then there's the citation key, which generally you use when you are referencing in LaTeX. Now there are other optional fields like the volume, number, pages, the month, ISSN and if you want to add some notes. There are deprecated fields where you can add 
other things like the month and other fields that you want to add then general where you can add the doi of the paper the cross ref and the keywords of the paper and the abstracts and comments and there's another database here which you can agree to the terms and it will help you find related articles so whenever um, you click on an entry it will tell you what other articles are related to this article from an external source and then there's the bibtech source so under the bibtech source if you know how to type out a bibtech entry for a bibliographic source you can do that here I will we'll return to this and this will be the main point of this presentation so to add an entry let's assume that we've searched for articles on say Google Scholar so normally I add my entries in Jabref by going to Google Scholar and searching for the title of the article when I find the article you just have to click on these indicators and this appears when this appears click on BibTech and then you have this job BibTech entry now just press ctrl C on Windows or you can right click and select copy now when you come back to Jabref you just click on BibTech source make sure you delete what is already here then you paste this now when you paste this what it's going to do is it's going to take all these entries and fill them out for you so now you have all these fields filled out so for almost any article you can search for it on google scholar come to bibtech source then add it afterwards you click you press on ctrl s or file and save and then you can now save the file to your computer I'm going to save my library as my references .bib, where .bib is a bibtech file because I'll be using it in LaTeX. So yes, I'm going to replace it. So now this is the library in which I'm going to add more files. So let's go back to Google Scholar and add more. So you can click back and then you can add more. You just click on the, the indicator here, click on bibtech copy this come back to Jabref and then you click on the plus here click on article a new entry is created then you highlight this and replace it with what you copied and as usual these are copied note that it's generating citation keys for you a citation key is what links this library to latex so that you can cite your article so anytime you want to refer to this article on COVID-19 during pregnancy, in LaTeX, you just need only this key as your as the link between your BibTeX file and your LaTeX. That's how you add articles using the BibTeX source from, from Google Scholar. You can also add articles by clicking on this plus and you can add articles by ID type. So you can add by the archive, or crossref or doi so doi is what most of us know so for example if i come here to this paper i can copy the doi so we can copy the doi and then in in jabref we can add the DOI here and click on generate so you wait a bit because it's going to search online and depending on the speed of your internet boom that's it so you've added this article so you can add articles based on title or based on the BibTeX source or based on the DOI as I've said so apart from adding entries in Jabref as using the DOI or as the title or the BibTeX source you can also export your searches from your favorite databases using one of the preferred formats of Jabref and Jabref will recognize it as your library 
So to do that, I'm in Scopus now and I've searched for COVID-19 and it has returned a number of documents. You can do that for Science Direct or Web of Science or any of your preferred databases. So let's say I'm interested in the first five articles that were returned because they are what I want. So I can come here and export it as RIS format, which is preferred by Jabref. So when I save it, it goes onto my computer and then you can then go into Jabref, come to file and then import. So you can import it into your current library or you can import it as a new library. Let's try both. So let's import it as the current library. So that is going to be added to this library. When we do that, we go to Scopus. The, I think the search was saved as Scopus 1. And then you see it's already listed here nicely. So you select, you hit on control or shift and then you select the ones you want and then you hit on import. So it's saying there are possible duplicates that haven't been resolved. Should it continue? So I can say continue with import and it it's imported it. Now these are the two that it found as duplicates. So you can re actually resolve the duplicates and remove one of them. So that's when you want to Im import it into your current library. But say you did a search and you want to save it as a new library, which you want to work on separately. You can also go to import into new library. Then you come to scope, what, whatever you saved the, the search as, and this is it. So it's saved as a new library. So I'm hitting control S now or file and save to save it. And I can save it as my Scopus search. Bibtech. So when you see a star by the name of the library, it means the library has not been saved. You've made changes to it and haven't saved it yet. So you just go to file and hit on save library, or you can just press control S. So now that's my library. You can hit on each individual one and see if everything is correct. And if there are any mistakes you want to resolve, you can do that. When you see a paper clip kind of icon on the left, it means there's a link and you can actually hit on it and it will open the browser. So that's it. That's how you add entries to your library in Jabref. So henceforth, this is your library. You know the titles, you know the citation keys. And if you don't like the citation key, you can actually make Jabref auto generate it for you. So when you hit on generate, it will tell you that it's going to override the one that's there. So you hit on override keys and it generates one for you using the name of the author and the year. So if you want to change it for all of them, you can actually just highlight them. So I'm holding down shift and I'm clicking and then you can hit on generate and then it will override all of them. So now you need these citation keys to cite your references in LaTeX. In Word, you don't have that problem. You can see the title and you can do that. So now let's move on to the stage, the magic. How can you then use these references and link them to your LaTeX and cite them? Or how do you link them to Microsoft Word? Thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye.